The word startup is one of the more controversial terms in the world today. People often sigh or roll their eyes when you tell them you have a startup. And to be honest, they have a point. For the majority of people running a quote-unquote startup, they're making zero dollars, living in their parents' basements, and using their startup as an excuse to put CEO and founder in their LinkedIn profile. And now all jokes aside, there is a reason why people are attracted to the term startup and business as a whole. The dream of making Making millions of dollars, having millions of users, and helping people around the world with your own code is quite an attractive thing to do. And with all that said, I'm making a new app. I took some time off over the past few weeks just to like not only think about new ideas and what I wanted to do, but really just take in my failures of my previous apps and just see what I did wrong and where I want to go with everything. And I know the main question will be, what is this app. And so the app in question, or at least the concept that I have, because everything is like quite new to me. I just thought about this a few days ago and I'm really just trying to put everything together, but it's a gamified version of self-improvement. I really want to make something that will like really help someone in the real world. And after using a bunch of apps, like one of them is like a forest app that I use where you gain points for doing deep work. Like you set a timer and when the timer is done, they give you coins and you can plant trees in real life with those coins. Um, after using those types of apps, I really like the concept of bringing like real life and games all together. And I honestly have nothing ready. I just have a piece of paper with the ideas down and the features that I want. Like, uh, where is it at? This is the piece of paper with the, the subjects I want to talk about in this video and everything that I want my app to include. And so it's a gamified version of self-improvement. But what does that even mean? So as of right now, I think the main features that I want to include is firstly a way to track your daily habits because you know self-improvement and the stuff to improve your life like hitting the gym takes a lot of effort and a lot of time and you have to go like multiple days in a row so i'm thinking of making like a habit daily thing where you check off when you do your habits and you get points for that and you get like a github style like daily check mark or like a green thing for when you do the habit and so then every time you gain experience or you get like points for doing these habits um obviously you, your number goes up the number of points you have goes up and with that experience not only will you level up against other people so like the higher number xp the higher ranking you will be against other people but you'll also be able to buy things with that experience now i don't know exactly what i want like the thing to be it could be our merch it could be money donated to charity like in the tree app that i talked about like the forest app you can plant real life trees with the actual coins that you get so i think that's pretty cool and i think we could do something around that and i think the perfect way to summarize this is just a gamified version of self-improvement now i don't know how effective this business is i i literally i thought about this a few days ago so i have no idea how viable it is how profitable it could be but i do know that there's a lot of people in self-improvement there's a lot of people struggling with habits and i'm one of them and i just think a gamified version of anything is always good. Like a big part of YouTube, right, is gaining subscribers. It's seeing the numbers go up on your videos. It's seeing, I don't know, um, your salary go up at your job. It's getting a better score at school. A lot of the things in our life is like gamified and we don't even know it. And I notice in myself when something is like a game, I just do a lot better. And I think a lot of people are like that. And so the next thing I wanted to talk about is the tech stack. And for the first time in my life, I'm gonna be switching over to iOS and mobile development. I don't see the full potential of this app being reached on the web. Most people will be using this daily. The whole point of this is that it's gonna be being used daily. And if I want that to happen, and people are mostly gonna be using their phones for this, it does have to be on iOS. No one wants to log in onto the web and do it. And as a person with zero experience in iOS development and doing 10 minutes of research, I'm gonna be using React Native. I know that that's the closest thing to React and I'm a React developer, so I can do that. Um, I'll be using Expo. I honestly don't know what Expo is. Everyone's telling me it is Expo, so <laughs> I guess I'll be using it. I think it's just a way to translate your app into like different languages or like being able to use it on the web as well. I could be entirely wrong about this, by the way. I literally don't know. And for the back end, I'll be using Superbase. I don't know why, but at my job, I've been using Superbase and I've been absolutely loving it. It's been a great experience and I've used it in the past, but I just didn't have a good time with it. And this time I have. So with a little bit more experience in Superbase, I think it'll be a good time now. Now, how I'll be monetizing this app will be, I think 
like there's three main methodologies that we can use. Um, the first one is obviously ads. I don't know. That could be a pretty viable option at the start if I don't want to charge people and I just want to get people in. So that one will be on my checklist. And the other two will be either a one-time payment for using the app, like paying like $80 to just be an upfront payment and then you have access to everything forever or a monthly subscription. Again, um, I don't know which way to take it, but I think those two are great. Um, I think another cool thing would be like being able to buy things at like a store. So we could sell again merch. It could be buying experience, but we might not want it to affect the leaderboard. I don't know. But more likely than not, it's going to be like a monthly subscription for like, you know, cooler features and ads. And so the final thing I wanted to talk about is the whole plan surrounding this app. And I'll be honest, I want this to be a side hustle because I'm having a really fun time at my job and I'm learning a lot and I'm gaining a lot of experience on both the developer side and the business side. So I definitely want to just stay at my job and make sure that this is a side hustle. I know that might be like anti what I used to be and just goes against a lot of what like we value, you know, the main idea is that, you know, you quit your job and you work at your startup and you make some millions of dollars and you gain like funding from a venture capitalist. But I'm genuinely happy at the company I'm working at. It's cal.com. It's a startup. I'm learning a lot and I just don't see a point in leaving that. So it's going to be a side hustle for a little bit. I, I apologize if that's not what you've expected, but I think that's like something I just want for like the next few, I don't know, years. I also really want to take my time with this. And so I just want to slow everything down. I want to build an MVP. And I want to introduce it to, you know, random people, see how they like it, see where I need to adjust and really do things the right way. Like I learned that at my startup. It's like no one's going to use a shitty product. Like a shitty product is a shitty product. Sure, you're going to make mistakes and that's totally fine. But you want to make sure you're like moving in the right direction than not. And so if you made it to the end of this video, then I need two things from you. OK, the first thing comment two kiss emojis because I want to know that you watch to the end of this video. Some people just don't watch. And so if you made it to the end, I want to know I'll reply back because you're a really one for making it to the end of the video. And the other thing I want you to do is to like and subscribe. It really go a long way and you've watched to the end of the video anyways. So I'd really appreciate your support and uh, yeah, happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.